Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the second episode of the Permissions mini-series. Uh, in this interesting episode, we are going to actually add bucket support or super perm support to our plugin so that our plugin will be able to interface with bucket and the has permission method in in the uh, player class or interface will uh, work with our plugin. Um, so to begin, there's a cool little uh, forum page on the bucket wiki or a wiki page on the bucket wiki. I will put this link in the description, but um, it's a little page that gives you all of the different important methods um, for uh, handling a player. So, for sorry, for handling permissions for a player. So there are a few different um, methods in here that we're going to use. And the first thing that we're going to do is, as it says right here, is we're going to want to store the um, we're going to want to store our permission attachments. A permission attachment is a class that represents um, a player's attachment to our permissions plugin. And it's um, through this attachment that you can set and unset permissions or add and remove permissions. So, um, what we're going to do is inside of our settings manager, we're going to have a private hash map. It'll take a string for the player and a permission attachment that represents the permission attachment attachments equals new hash map okay go ahead and import hash map and permission attachment and that should be good so now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually add a player join event and a player leave event and we're just going to call this um, we're gonna call this inject events because uh, when a player joins and leaves we need to eject and uninject our um, permission uh, attachment. So uh, this is going to be a listener and we're going to have a public void on player join player join event e and this does need the event handler annotation and then we are going to say settings manager dot get instance dot inject player E dot get player, and then we're also we're go. I'm gonna we'll write those methods in a second. They're gonna be really quick, and then we're just going to have on player quit, and that's gonna be a player quit event. And sorry about that. And then we're going to do uninject player. I guess it would be yeah, that's fine. And import player quit event. All right. So now let's go ahead and actually write the method. So we'll do it right here and we'll have our public void inject player player p and yes that's what we did call it. Okay and we're going to say attachments dot put p dot get name and when we want to go ahead and attach it we're going to say p dot add attachment and the plugin we're going to give it is p which is uh, the plugin that we have stored right there so we'll just call this pl all right now with the add attachment method you there are um, other arguments as the wiki page says you can give it a number of ticks so that your attachment will only last for um, that amount of time I'm not completely sure how useful that would be but um, that is a possibility there. So we have our permission attachment stored. The last thing that we want to do is our uninject method. Public void uninject player player pl. Oops. And then we're going to do two things here. We're going to say pl dot remove attachment um, attachments dot get for pl. So we want to remove the attachments. We want to remove the attachment that's for that player, and then we want to say attachments dot remove pl dot get name, and actually that's get name there. So it'll remove their attachment, and then it'll also remove them. It'll remove their entry from the hash map since we don't really need it. 
Uh, before we continue, I'm going to register the events because I know I'm going to forget that. Um, Bucket.getServer.get plugin manager dot register events new inject events this import everything oops and uh, you need to do this actually I guess it doesn't really matter if you do this before or after the settings manager setup but um I always put settings manager first because most things rely on it but it doesn't rely on anything itself so that's our inject and uninject. So now um, we're going to actually do stuff with the permissions. So we already have our add and remove methods, but now we're going to actually make it do something. So when we go ahead and so we're getting it in the uh, configuration file and we're saving it. But let's just go right here and we're going to say um, attachments.get for player dot set permission I believe yes so set permission and it's going to be um, perm to true so um, players a string and we're storing the players uh, as their names so that's good um, and then it will set the permission um, to it'll set that particular permission there to true and then for the remove player um, we're going to do I believe it's unset permission and that doesn't take any argument so the unset permission will just as you can see here it will remove the um, permission so I guess that we actually I'm sorry that's not what we want to do because as you can see it clearly says if you want a different um, plugin to set it but we don't so we're actually going to do um, set permission to false is is what we should do there so uh, when we add the permission it'll set it to true update everything whatever um, then over here when we go to remove the permission it'll set that to false and then it'll do everything in the configuration and that is that is all for that. Uh, that covers this short article or this short wiki page. This will be in the description, although I don't know how helpful it is now that we've implemented everything from here. Um, but in this video, uh, we created a permission attachment to each player that joins. Remove it on leave, uh, and it will then um, set permissions when we add them and remove permissions when we remove them. Now, the last thing that I just realized is um, we need to actually add all of the current permissions. So after we um, create a permissions attachment for them, we need to add all of their current permissions. So we're going to say for string perm, uh, get perms for pl.getName. So we want to go through... And we want to go through all the permissions that they already have and inject all of those permissions. And we're going to say attachments.getpl.getName dot set permission perm to true. And that's about it. Now as you can see, we don't have any commands yet. Um, I will do, before this video is done, like before we get to the testing video, I will um, do the commands. Uh, it's just going to be commands for adding and removing permissions. Um, I know that you guys are interested in groups, so uh, in the next video we'll do groups, and the way that they're probably going to work is, um, so you'll see that there are perms here, so a group um, idea would be like group and then it'll be the name of the group and then it'll be a list of all of the players in the group um, or it'll actually have to be like players pogo stick 29 and then perms like your mom and lol so that's basically how we're going to do it uh, and we'll actually do it a pretty cool way. I think that we'll make a um, group wrapper class um, for storing all of the players and all of the permissions. And then we'll add a few methods here, like in add permissions, remove permissions, get permissions for groups. Um, then we'll implement it everywhere else. So that video will be a bit longer. 
All right, so that's all for this video. We um, successfully incorporated our plugin into the Bucket Superperm system, so it should work natively with Bucket. Um, next video, we will do groups. Um, actually, I will take a look at Vault. I'll look at the special things that Vault lets you do with permissions, uh, because I'm not sure if there's um, anything that it would be worth making a video on, but I'll take a look at it, because if Vault does actually allow you to do cool stuff with the permissions plugin, uh, then I will. Then the next video will be Vault integration, and then we'll finish off with groups and testing. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more comment with what you want to learn. If you liked this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys soon with the next video. Goodbye.